humanity landing on the moon, man, that was maybe the greatest thing ever. When you think of the moon, what comes to mind? You could believe it to be a lifeless, dead rock. You believe you are correct, but you are not? Elon Musk really made some startling claims regarding our nearest neighbor. We'll see Elon Musk's thoughts on the moon in this video, along with the reasons behind his belief that it is not what we believe it is. We'll also look at some of the consequences of Musk's statements and how they could affect space exploration going forward. What views does Elon Musk have towards the moon? Is there something that's not obvious? These days, there are many of locations to learn, and nobody is working on the moon to study geology or other sciences. Scientists are still working to solve a number of riddles about the moon despite the extensive research and discoveries that have been done. For instance, study on the moon's interior structure, magnetic field, and other characteristics is still ongoing since its genesis is not entirely known. The idea of utilizing the moon as a base for further space exploration and maybe integration is also of interest. The most well-known lunar mission is perhaps NASA's Apollo program, which took place in the 1960s and 1970s and involved manned landings and experimental missions to the moon. Since then, a large number of nations and organizations have undertaken lunar missions, with China being one among them. China has made many successful lunar landings in recent years. Numerous nations and organizations have carried out lunar missions over the years, such as the Soviet Union's lunar program, which consisted of several unmanned lunar missions carried out between 1959 and 1976. In 1959, iron became the first artificial thing to set foot on the moon. In addition, there are the several moon missions that NASA conducted between 1969 and 1972, as well as the Apollo program. The date was July 20, 1969. Next, we watched an image of NASA's spacecraft, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which has been circling the moon since 2009. LRO helps locate prospective landing places in the future and offers comprehensive photographs of the solar system. Furthermore, Project Artemis, a proposal unveiled by NASA, intends to send people back to the moon in 2024 with the goal of creating a permanent human settlement on the former sun. The initiative will entail the development of new technologies and cooperation with industry and international partners, and it will encompass both workers and non-employees. Regarding the CHAIN project, a set of unmanned lunar missions to be conducted by the China National Space Administration. China is not involved in any of this. The CHAIN-4 mission accomplished the first landing on the moon's far side in 2019, and the program involves both people and the rover. Hold on, let's take a little trip back in time. When does the actual tournament begin? In the 20th century, the US and the USSR started competing to develop jet aircraft capabilities. The terminals showcase the development of technology deemed crucial for national security while showcasing the aspirations and symbols of the day. It sprang from the missile-based nuclear weapons race between the two countries following World War II. From the competition site, it will be feasible to broadcast on Earth, launch space missions to Venus, Mars, and the Moon and launch manned spaceflights to the lower Earth and eventually the Moon. Spaceflights soon piqued the curiosity of American periodicals after the Soviet Youth Magazine's 1951 release. On July 30, 1955, the United States stated that it intended to launch a satellite for the International Geophysical Year, which delighted nations. The Soviets responded by declaring that they will also release the satellite four days later. The development of rocketry shortly after World War II enabled radio transmission. The West faced challenges following the October 4, 1957, launch of Sputnik 1, the Soviet Union's first artificial satellite. This event gave rise to the Sputnik crisis. With the Vostok 1 orbital mission on April 12, 1961, the Soviet Union sent Yuri Gagarin, the first person in space, to galvanize this movement. The Soviet Union advanced more than it had during the previous few years, but the U.S. did not yield. 25 May 1961 The U.S. by the end of the century, President John F. Kennedy urged Congress to uphold the objective of landing a man on the moon and bringing him back to Earth for safety. This is what Gagarin's flight produced. Both nations began investigating the largest automobiles. The Saturn V, big enough to transport two lunar landers and three orbiters, was initially used by the United States. With the Apollo 11 mission, Kennedy's ambition of setting foot on the moon was accomplished in July 1969. 
This accomplishment was deemed the most proud of all Soviet accomplishments by the American people. This opinion isn't universally held, though. Others believe he was the first person to do more in space. In order to launch and land on the moon before the United States, the Soviet Union employed two lunar landing designs. However, their N-1 rocket was unsuccessful, and they ultimately decided to forgo both rockets in favor of Salute, the first space station project, and the first landings on Mars and Venus. Five additional Apollo teams touched down on the moon as the U.S. investigated technology on other alien worlds. Regretfully, the nation has not spoken since the previous lunar landing over half a century ago, and it has just lately returned to the moon. It is evident from all signs that space rivalry is not going to slow down anytime soon, due to the fact that there is still a lot to learn about the celestial bodies that surround our world. As a result, efforts to investigate the moon and other celestial bodies are ongoing, including significant financial investments from the United States, China, and other nations as well as private businesses. Do you believe that this difficulty and battle will eventually be evident? Naturally, no. Important information that will be provided to them in ensuing investigations will now be requested by all nations. Musk did, however, recently disclose that Chinese scientists were concealing the moon. He reported discovering proof of extraterrestrial life on the moon. Musk said that a person with ties to the Chinese government had supplied this information. He offered no proof for his statements, but it sparked a lot of conjecture online. In the event that Musk is correct, this would be a significant finding. This will alter our perception of the world and prove that life exists elsewhere. Numerous issues concerning the nature of this extraterrestrial life and how it may develop on the moon are also brought up by this. But Elon Musk does not agree with this. As we continue to solve puzzles, it's important to remember that Musk has no supporting data for his assertions. He kept the evidence's whereabouts a secret and did not publish any images or videos of it. It is noteworthy that Musk's statements have not yet been substantiated by the Chinese authorities. Some believe Musk is only attempting to brag, while others believe there could be more to it. Elon Musk, on the other hand, is a successful businessman and space enthusiast. If Musk is telling the truth or not, only time will tell. If true, this would be a significant finding that would alter our conception of the cosmos. Why then does Elon Musk care about this? Elon Musk has always supported the colonization of Mars. He'd always thought there would be life somewhere than Earth. So it should come as no surprise that he has a keen interest in lunar science. Musk stated that, in his opinion, diversity on Earth is essential to humanity's long-term survival and that, in the past, Mars was the best planet for human habitation. Musk is developing the technology required to transport humans to Mars and establish human habitation on Earth through his firm SpaceX. Among these is the creation of the reusable Starship spaceship, which has the capacity to accommodate up to 100 passengers at once. Building an independent metropolis on Earth with the intention of housing and employing millions of people is one of Musk's objectives for his engagement with Mars. He devised a number of novel concepts to accomplish this aim, including altering the environment to suit humans and using local resources to produce oil and other necessities. Musk's audacious plans have inspired a new generation of space enthusiasts and renewable energy sources, despite the fact that there are still many obstacles to be solved before humans can successfully land on Mars, such as developing a suitable life support system and shielding passengers from intense electricity. Consider the prospect of human exploration and colonization of other worlds. The human imagination is nevertheless fascinated by the secrets of space. In the ensuing 10 years, several space-related institutes have resorted to research programs as a result. Three nations are involved in these initiatives, China, Russia, and the United States. Elon Musk's SpaceX and other private businesses collaborated as a result of their participation in the competition. China and Musk have lately collaborated in an intriguing way. A remarkable finding has emerged from China, located far away from the moon, as a result of a leak from the CEOs of SpaceX and Tesla. This finding begs the issue of what China found and why it was kept a secret. Is this proof that extraterrestrial life exists? NASA is rivaled by the space exploration advancements achieved by the China National Space Administration. China has added the construction of its own station to its amazing list of accomplishments. During lunar research, China made an odd finding. Elon Musk later revealed this information to the globe. 
The China Atomic Energy Agency and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration jointly released a statement in reaction to the leak, informing the world of the tragic news. According to the research, lunar science has advanced most rapidly in China. They called Shengit the new sixth lunar object they found during their quest. Scientists at the Beijing Institute of Uranium Geology found the strange rock while analyzing surface samples that China's Chang'e 5 robotic probe had taken. The material has been acknowledged by the Committee on Nomenclature and Classification of New Minerals of the International Mineralogical Union as unique. Shankit, according to Musk, is a moonstone of particular importance. This is the initial. Chinese scientists have now identified lunar objects for the third time following the United States and Russia in achieving this remarkable finding. The mineral sample consists of a single crystal with a diameter of only 10 microns that has been meticulously separated by more than 140,000 microscopic particles. Then, using cutting-edge mineralogical methods, a detailed analysis is conducted. The remarkable Chang'e 5 mission robot was the one responsible for this incredible finding. The Wenchang Space Launch Center in the Hainan province in southern China served as the expedition's launch pad. Following an exhilarating voyage, it made a successful lunar landing, making history as the third spacecraft to accomplish this after China's Chang'e 3 and 4. The vehicle, which was sent there to gather dirt and rocks from the moon, returned safely with 1,731 grams of cargo. It is important to remember that this is a significant accomplishment because the last moon material returned by our star neighbors was 46 years ago. The initial set of lunar samples that were taken from Chang'e 5 will be distributed by the China National Space Administration. For 31 months, these reputable scientists have been engaged in this study effort. This accomplishment, along with its name in Chinese history, is highly significant. The collaboration of specialists from many ministries, including the Ministry of Natural Resources, the Ministry of Education, and the Chinese Academy of Sciences in the research of the lunar model is crucial to this significant endeavor. The findings indicated that these microscopic pebbles were around the diameter of a human hair and more than a thousand years old. These important discoveries provide up new avenues for investigation and learning about the composition and geological history of the moon. International Mineralogical Society scientists were taken aback by an odd finding made by the Chang'e 5 lunar research mission. Their findings verified that the little crystal on the moon was not the same form as previously thought. It has complex relationships with other minerals that are only found in meteorites or on the moon. These significant research not only advance our knowledge of the moon's formation and history, but they also provide the groundwork for future studies on the utilization of lunar resources. However, this is not the only unexpected finding from the moon expedition. Musk is also interested in another recent finding. Researchers and astronomers at the Chang'e 5 Lunar Rock Laboratory looked at helium-3 traces found in about 140,000 lunar particles. Although it is thought to be abundant on the moon, this form of helium is uncommon on Earth. It is thought to be a fuel source that has the power to completely transform how clean, efficient energy is produced and used worldwide. This event demonstrates Musk's purposeful disclosure of information to the public. Without a question, the importance of renewable energy is rising. Future prospects for renewable energy are bright. Elon Musk feels that renewable energy is the way of the future and that using fossil fuels damages the environment since they are finite resources. Renewable energy sources, including solar and wind power, are plentiful and have a sustainable usage. The future of renewable energy will be more efficiently and effectively transitioned to through the use of renewable energy. In recent years, there has been a notable decline in the cost of solar and wind energy, a trend that is anticipated to continue. Additionally, as energy storage technology advances, people will be able to use renewable energy sources more effectively. As opposed to battery technology and renewable energy, battery technology is necessary for the growth of renewable energy. Solar and wind energy only produce energy when the sun is shining or the wind is blowing because all forms of energy are interrelated. This could be accomplished by storing extra power in batteries going forward for use at other times, including during periods of high demand or low sunshine. As a result, renewable energy is now more affordable and dependable. For instance, Tesla has always excelled in battery technology. For many years, Tesla has been a leader in battery technology. 
For instance, Tesla manufactures its own batteries, which are longer lasting and more efficient than conventional batteries. Furthermore, Powerwall, a battery storage technology that enables homeowners to store excess power generated by solar panels for later use, was created by Tesla. To address our energy demands, we require battery storage, wind turbines, and solar energy. More incentives and better rules are also required to promote the usage of renewable energy. Elon Musk is heading into the future for a number of reasons, including all of the above. Since its discovery, scientists have been perplexed by the possibility of using helium-3, an uncommon kind of energy that is produced when two light atoms combine to form a heavier atom as a fuel source for nuclear fusion. There is interest and curiosity over the potential use of helium-3 as a fuel for nuclear fusion. The richness and special qualities of the moon present opportunities for potential future energy shifts. Musk's choice to make this information available to the public shows how it has the power to alter the energy landscape and open the door for more efficient, sustainable, and clean energy. Despite the fact that fusion happens naturally in star cores, scientists have not yet succeeded in building a fusion reactor that can generate more energy than is supplied to it. But since helium-3 generates less radiation and radioactive waste than other materials, it may be used as a valuable source of fusion fuel. Musk claims that helium-3 does exist, although in trace proportions. As opposed to this, it is believed to be more prevalent on the moon, where solar winds have deposited it directly onto the surface of the sun over millions of years. Despite the paucity of reactors capable of using helium-3, the European Space Agency said that the race for the star had begun. China and the United States are among the several private businesses and aviation-related nations that have indicated interest in mining helium-3 on the moon. The finding of lunar helium-3 by Chang'e 5 may intensify rivalry among nations for lunar material resources. Without a doubt, this finding pushes the limits of resource use and space exploration. As part of his goal to advance human civilization worldwide, Musk has revealed plans to build a human colony on the moon in addition to his clean and energy-efficient initiatives. His intended objective aligns with the expanding understanding that human life may exist on the moon. Thanks for watching another episode. While you're here, you can watch more space-related video.